This is Euclid Book 11, Proposition Number 1, and the first challenge you're going to find in drawing this is drawing all these perpendicular lines. I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to do this. Now, this is a 4 inch line, and we divided it in half. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. We're going to extend this line out an additional 2 inches. And here's the reason why, because then we're going to have a 4 inch line like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to bisect this line. Now you say, well how are we going to bisect this line exactly? Okay. We set our compass to exactly 4 inches in length. Okay. You can actually see this. Ta-da! This like that. And using Euclid Book... Okay. Using Euclid Book 1 Propositions number 9 and 10, what you're going to do is you're going to place your compass right here and you're going to draw an arc right about here. Okay? And then you're going to draw another arc right over here, like that. And where these two lines meet, that's where you're going to draw your line. You're going to draw your line from here to here. And that's how you're going to draw your perpendiculars. And you're going to do this for all four sides. Okay, now this is a four inch line. I went ahead and made this line two inches, so on and so forth. And that's how you do that. And if you need further explanation from me, you're more than welcome to contact me and I'll work with you until you get it right. Okay? In the meantime, after that, I drew a two inch line right in here and I bisected that. And then just to illustrate this proof the way they want you to illustrate this proof instead of drawing a direct bisector like this I tip the line just a little bit and you'll see why when I read you the proof okay it says a part of a straight line cannot be in a plane of reference and a part in a plane more elevated now this square right here, well not square, this is a rectangle. This rectangle right here is called a plane of reference. Okay. And what this proof is saying is that you can't have a line that is in the plane of reference and also in a plane more elevated. And it says, for if possible, let a part AB on a straight line ABC be in a plane of reference. Okay, so now we've got part AB right there, and a part BC in a plane more elevated. Okay, now we got BC and it's in a plane more elevated. Now, the elevated one would be almost like a perpendicular. You'd have a perpendicular plane here. Okay, getting the picture so far? There will be in the Okay, there will then be in the plane of reference some straight line continuous with AB in a straight line. Let it be BD. So now we're going to be talking about this line right here. Therefore, AB is a common segment of two straight lines, ABC and ABD. So, this line is going to be a common segment to this and also to this. Which, of course, Euclid says, and we can sa safely prove, is impossible. Inasmuch as, if we describe a circle with center B, there's center B right there, and distance AB, which is this, so we'd, we'd uh, draw a circle, okay, the diameters would cut off unequal circumferences of the circle. Therefore, a part of a straight line cannot be in a plane of reference and a part of a plane more elevated. And that is Euclid Book, one, uh, book 11, that is Euclid Book 11, Proposition Number 1. Alright. Because what would happen here, let's say we have center B and a, B is, a, 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 D is the distance here. Okay? Then what you would do... Let's just let's just do this here, okay? 
let's make this like thus oops I didn't draw this too well did I Okay, this should actually... Basically what he's trying to say, if I understand this correctly, is the distance from B to D is one inch. But the distance from B to this point, or actually to C, would be greater. And that, that would create a problem. So anyway, that's all the proof there is. I will tell you more in a future video, so I'd like for you to stay tuned.